This is a tutorial on the easiest way to make a Factorio time-lapse. First, download and install the mod Timelapse Base Edition from the Factorio mod library. Start a new game, and when you're in, press Ctrl T to bring up the mod settings. Click the pause icon in the top right so that the game will pause whenever you're changing the time-lapse settings. Now here's where it's really up to you to figure out what values you want. Personally, the only thing I'd change is the frame rate and the speed gain. Changing the frame rate doesn't actually change the frame rate your time-lapse will be played at because that depends on the settings you choose in your video editing software, which I'll get to later. So I always set the frame rate to 30 just because it's a nice number for calculating what values I want for the speed gain. So now that you have the frame rate set to 30, the only thing you really need to worry about is the speed gain. Changing the speed gain changes how often a screenshot is taken. If you have values of 30 and 900, a screenshot will be taken every 30 seconds. Values of 30 and 1800 will take a screenshot every minute. You can kind of see how this works. It's pretty much up to you to decide how often you want a screenshot to be taken, and then decide how many screenshots per second you want to play in the final video, which will be your true frame rate, not whatever this is. Also, by default, the mod takes a screenshot just large enough to cover every building that you place, meaning the video will slowly zoom out over time as you build. This behavior can be changed to different behavior here in the mod settings, but I'm not 100% confident on how to do all that, so if someone figures it out, please explain in the comments. When you're done figuring all this out, just click this play button in the top left to activate the screenshot camera, and press Ctrl T again, and the mod will start taking screenshots. The screenshots are saved in the script output folder in the Factorio folder in your app data folder. Since you'll be navigating here often, and since other games utilize the app data folder, I recommend creating a desktop shortcut to your app data folder. Do this by clicking the Windows search bar, typing percent app data percent, then right clicking the result, then click open file location, right click roaming, and click create shortcut. Drag this shortcut from here to your desktop and place it wherever you want, and maybe rename it to app data or something like that. Then you can double click it, double click Factorio, and double click script output. And I have all my screenshots appearing in this folder called time lapse. I'll change the mod settings really quick to show you this working. If I make it take screenshots very often, you can see them appearing in the folder. When your playthrough is done and you want to finish the time lapse, press Ctrl T and click the play button in the mod settings to deactivate the camera, then save the game. Then open your video editing software. I use DaVinci Resolve. Then create a new project and select the frame rate you want your time lapse to play at. 60 is probably overkill and will go through your screenshots too fast. 30 is good if you took screenshots pretty often, like every 30 seconds or so. If you took screenshots somewhat rarely, like every couple minutes, I wouldn't set the frame rate higher than 20, because you'll go through your screenshots too fast, depending on how long your game was, of course. Then, once you've picked your desired frame rate, go to your main editing tab, open the folder with all your screenshots, press Ctrl A to select all of them, and drag them into the media storage area. If your video editing software is like mine, it will automatically make a video out of all of the images, played at your selected frame rate. Then just drag this video into your timeline, and you can export it as a video file to your computer. Then what I like to do is import this raw time-lapse video into another new project set at 60 frames per second, which I can use to add editing, like text, transitions, etc. The time-lapse will stay at whatever frame rate you originally selected, but your edits will be at 60 frames per second. Then, when you're done, export that project, and you're good to go. Let's play the example time-lapse from today. If you want to see a full time-lapse using this method, I have a couple on my channel you could check out. Thanks for watching.